Today, we will plan our community radio station and discuss the various components that go into making an ideal station. We shall also visit a functional radio station just to get a sense of it. While planning a station, the first thing that comes to mind is where? In the community, where do we want to locate the station? There are two main considerations here. The first one is accessibility. The community must feel that the radio station is accessible to them. You really cannot have a community radio station located in a place where all the community members cannot enter at their free will. The more accessible the station, the more participatory. The second important aspect is the natural geographical advantage. As we know, FM radio works on the principle of line of sight. If you can see the antenna, you will be able to hear it. For example, let us say that you have a higher contour here and you have your community concentrated somewhere in this region. Then, it would be a good idea to locate your antenna mast here. Another critical aspect is that the distance between the antenna mast and the transmitter room needs to be as short as possible. Remember, shorter the feeder cable, higher the effective radiated power and therefore better the range of coverage. A GIS software like Google Earth could be a good resource for you to find out the highest contour in the region. The next important thing to look into is the studio layout. We have an architect with us today to tell us more about it. Hi Sam. Hi Nishi. Sam, could you tell us more about what goes into planning a community radio studio layout? Sure. The most important aspect governing your design would be the amount of space that you have. Say you have a small space of about 230 square feet. So this could be your entry to a lobby where you have enough space for a reception desk and a place to keep books, periodicals, etc. You could have a pin-up board above it and a place for visitors to sit. Here is the entry to the control room. You have an L-shaped desk for the mixing console, computer system and other equipments. This being a small studio, you will need to use the same room to keep your transmitter. From here you enter the recording room which is acoustically treated. Since it is a small studio, ensure maximum use of outdoor space for community gatherings. Your studio could look like this. For a larger studio, you enter a reception lobby and provide a bigger control room with additional tables for audio editing. This would be a dedicated recording room, acoustically treated. Besides, you can provide for a separate on-air studio for live transmission. Even this room needs to be acoustically treated. The transmitter can be kept in a separate room which can also double up as a storeroom. A pantry and a toilet can also be accommodated. Remember, outdoor space for community interaction always enhances the utility of your studio. A large studio would look like this. तो दोस्तों हम बात कर रहे हैं मैथ्स ऑन रेडियो इस प्रोग्राम के बारे में जो आता है मस्ट रेडियो पर हर रोज सुबह नौ बजे दोपहर एक बजे और शाम को सात बजे तो सुनते रहिएगा 107.8 एफएम मस्ट रेडियो आपका अपना कम्युनिटी रेडियो स्टेशन थैंक यू फॉर अबाउट द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दी ऑनर सिस्टम the rack is there mm -hmm. and uh, we have a few equipment here first of all the analog and the digital converter along with the patch bay uh, we also have a telephone hybrid unit where we have two telephone lines which we can use to talk to our listeners mm -hmm. and uh, it is connected directly to the mixer uh, this is a computer which we use uh, to go live on air because it has uh, the software is the broadcasting and the scheduling software uh, it we create a playlist out of it for the day different different types of programs that we have and we run from here and the output is given to the mixer directly 
uh, this is the on-air microphone that we use to go live on air when we speak. Okay, this one looks a little different from the usual ones, right? Uh, yeah, it does because it's a special microphone. It's called the condenser microphone. Now it has various aspects to it. It has an internal equalizer. Plus, it requires an additional power supply uh, from the mixer. The output of the mixer is finally given to the transmitter from where it is broadcast. Okay, alright. This is our uh, control room where we have the editing suite and uh, he's our editor Kiran. Mm -hmm. uh, for that we also use the mixer. Uh, we have a couple of mixers here. Uh, a smaller one which has uh, inputs from the microphones which are there at the other end in the recording room. And we also have a bigger mixer which we use it for uh, sound mixing. So this is the transmitter rack where we keep the transmitter. Mm -hmm. Now today we have uh, taken it out for uh, maintenance okay. and as you can see it's a 50 watt transmitter which uh, radiates at uh, 50 watts. And that's how with the mast and the antenna the airwaves reach out to the community.